This is Seneco 2021 General Mathematics Paper 2N. We are answering question number 7A and the question reads, uh, you have to use the information in this very figure that is in this very drawing to find the value of x. This is the figure given. You have line AB parallel to the line DC. You can see the two arrow heads. You have line AC also parallel to this very line. Look at the single, single arrow head. The angle here is 83 degrees, while the angle here is 47 degrees, and it is this x that we asked to find the size. This x represents the size of this very angle. It is this x that we have to find in this very question. So let's attempt to answer this very question to get a solution to the problem. Going back to our drawing, our target is to get this x, that is the size of this very angle. What usually happens, maybe we cannot get that angle directly. So you have to get some other angles that will lead you to find the angle x. So in attempt to do that, let me just extend this line. This line that makes the angle x was together with this side ED. Let me just extend it a bit. Look at the extension of this very line. After extended it, this very angle between the line that extended that was produced together with this line DC, the angle, let me call it theta. So this angle theta will now be equal to angle 47 degrees. The two angles 47 and this angle theta are alternate to each other. So theta will now take the size 47 degrees. And reason is alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. So this angle theta is now 47. So I continue. Look at my drawing critically. I have this angle 83 degrees. The angle between this side the line ED and the line AB, this angle is 83 degrees. And this side AB or this line AB is parallel to the line DC, look at it. Which means this line ED is now a transversal. So if I call this angle, look at this very angle, if I call it beta, if I give it a name beta, I can now find the beta. So beta would now be equal to this very angle 83 degrees and the simple reason the two angles are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. So beta take the size 83 degrees. Going back to my drawing again, the angle x that I wanted to find, the angle beta and the angle theta formed angles on a straight line. So addition of the three angles gives 180 degrees, so I now have x plus the beta plus the, the theta equals to 80 and the reason is it is adjacent angles on a straight line. I have my beta of course as 83 degrees and I have my theta as 47 degrees. So I now have x plus 83 plus 47 equals to 80. So adding 83 and 47 correctly gives answer 130. So you now have x plus 130 degrees equals to 80 degrees. Taking 130 to the right hand side, it becomes minus. So you now have 180 minus 130. That gives answer 50 degrees. So x will now take the value 50 degrees. So the size of this very angle x is now 50 degrees. And this answered the question. So let me just share with you quickly the mark distribution for this very question as it is there in the marking scheme. The very first mark is bonus one mark. And this bonus one mark is for getting a theta 47 and beta 83 degrees correctly, you have this bonus one mark. The next mark is method one mark, and this method one mark is for attempting to find x using sum of angle on a straight line, that is x plus 83 plus 47 equals 280, that gives you this method one mark. And when you now solved for x correctly, you have x as 50 degrees, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this very question, if everything is done correct, you have three good marks.